You know what sucks? Printing. Printing web pages sucks, especially when you're dealing with maps. When you go to print a map just from the user's browser, lots of bad things can happen. If the map is getting stretched to a larger size, you may have some tiles that never loaded and some gray area. If the map is getting shrunk, the center point can change and all of a sudden people aren't printing what they thought they were printing. Lots of bad things. And I've dealt with this in a whole bunch of different ways. I've done like inline print styling. I've reformatted the whole page with a print class and then had users print from there. I've passed to a page just for printing and they've got to pass all of the current user state over to that so they can recreate various items there. Done lots of different ways, they all suck. Printing is no fun. Uh, I just found a different way to do it that I haven't used before, and it's really cool. And it's the simplest way I found to print a full-size map application like this, which is a fairly common thing to build. So, what you do, this is the new iteration of the time machine. You'll hit this print button up here resizes the map you go to your print screen you see it looks like a page with a title and the year of each side and all the stuff you really don't want to see printed hidden and you'll print or cancel and you're back to your map now how did i do that well there's a little bit of css and a little bit of javascript for the css part i'm telling the browser that when media is print set the size to landscape for this kind of app where it's a full screen, full, full viewport map, landscape makes the most sense. You could give them an option to say portrait or landscape, but portrait maps when you're dealing with this kind of thing, just, they just don't make a lot of sense. So I'm telling the browser to default to landscape. That way I know exactly what size thing I need to make in order to print. Then I go over to where you hit that print button and this, does a couple things. The print here, this, this print variable is essentially just a true false bit. It's just a toggle. And it's normally set to false. When it sets to true, it applies this style, which resizes the, the content, the main content, uh, to 10 inches by 7.7 .7 inches, which is like a regular size of paper landscape with some margins built in. This may not be the exact dimensions to use, but it, it works fine. But that's where I'm essentially setting the entire app to a landscape page standard, I think it's called A4, A4 size. Then we go up to a little bit of JavaScript and it's going to, when it hit, you hit that print button, it's going to toggle the print to whatever it's not. So it's normally false, it's gonna to toggle it to true. If it's true, you're going to wait 600 milliseconds. And this is to give the page a chance to settle down. You're resizing all of the content and it might need to think about that for a few milliseconds. This is not so long that the user is really going to notice, but it gives the page a chance to settle down a bit and fetch some more tiles if it needs to, or whatever it needs to do. And then it's going to call window.print. So, Window, your print dialog opens from your browser. As it turns out, and I stumbled on this on somewhere, because I was trying to figure out a way to solve this problem easier. The window has an after print event. This event fires whenever the print dialog closes, whether the user actually printed something or they hit cancel or escape. When that dialog closes, this after print event fires. When that fires, I just toggle the print back to false. And that's it. That tiny bit of JavaScript and CSS is doing all that work. So right now, print toggle is set to false. When I click this, it's going to set that class to resize the content. And you'll see it go to what's going to be in a landscape page and then call a print dialog after it waits about half a second. There's the resize, there's the print dialog. Now this print you know, looks exactly like what that map we were doing. I do hide a few things when it prints, like I hide the buttons over here, I hide those, those uh, range inputs, uh, I range input sliders. Uh, 
and I'm just showing those select values as dates there. So I'm hiding a few things, but really it's just resizing the content and the map is the big thing you're doing there. Now, when I hit print or cancel and this print dialog goes away, that class print class is toggled back to false from that after print event firing. And when it does that, uh, that class goes away and everything gets resized back to normal. And that's it. A tiny bit of CSS and a tiny bit of JavaScript. And we have a perfectly usable landscape print of this app. And that is by far the easiest way I've found to do this so far. So it still sucks because it's printing and I don't like it. But in terms of printing suckage, this is a great way to go for this style of full map, full viewport application. Hope you found that useful and maybe you'll find some use for that in some of your projects and that you're doing well and you're happy and I will catch you later. Bye.